this product called Sweet Slow Descent. So microflora is the bacterial colony. And I know for many of you that have been taking a lot of time Our body is uh, a microcosm. It is a, um, a small little universe all into itself where things live in balance. Where bacteria and viruses and some fungi all these different things that we hear, oh my God, it should be treated for this. Guess what? They live with us all the time. They should be there without them. But different colonies of bacteria, and as long as they maintain homeostasis, in other words, you know, they stay within normal limits of their numbers. One doesn't outnumber the other. Well, we don't have any problems. It's when these bacteria become competitive. It's when one group of healthy bacteria, and very helpful bacteria, become depleted, or when a very, shall we say, aggressive or non-helpful bacteria are introduced into the system, or in some cases when all of the bacteria has been destroyed. How does that happen? Well, let's talk about it. There's a wide variety of bacteria, and they all contribute, guess what, to our immunity, to our metabolism. That's right, to help break food down, to help break nutrients down, to so remove them there. We get the detoxification to help not only destroy harmful things that enter into the body, but they also help to carry that away. And some of the bacteria actually defend to the process of oxidation control or antioxidation. So we like them there. They're helping us. There are more bacteria that live and work in one linear centimeter of your lower colon than all the humans who have ever lived on the earth. Let me say that again. There are more bacteria that live and work in one linear centimeter, a half inch, of your lower colon than all the humans who have ever lived on the Earth. Isn't that fantastic? That's how I heard that the first time I went, wow. A forest populated with helpful bacteria, which helps us to defend against the mean and ugly. So we, we don't want tuberculosis in there. We don't want clostridium. But Acidophilus and Lungum and Bacillus and so forth, but all these different bacteria, if they're there strong enough, the bad guys don't have a chance. In fact, they, be, they become vulnerable in our gut floor. It's all about balance, isn't it? It doesn't matter how huge the number or how big the task. It's all about numbers. So stress can throw us out of, out of balance. You know, stress can dramatically change our pH, the difference between salt and acid, right? So if it raises our pH or makes us too salty, it becomes a perfect growing ground for H. pylori bacter. H. pylori bacter has been linked to what? It's been linked to stomach ulcer, peptic ulcer. And you can also start ulcerations by pH change in the intestinal tract. So, uh, enteropathic ulcers, or duodenal ulcers, or peptic or stomach ulcers. All from stress. Happens all the time, every day. Broad spectrum antibiotic therapy. It doesn't discriminate what bacteria it kills. It takes no prisoner and kills them all even the helpful one. So everything's thrown out of balance, and sometimes you need this, right? Sometimes you have an offending 
bacteria that is runaway. So if you have a runaway infection, bacterial infection, you want to bring that under control. But as soon as that's under control, you need to restore the microflora as quickly as possible, right? And okay, junk food. Now I know this looks good to some people. They look at this and go, oh my God, french fries, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza. Sounds like Tuesday. No, you can't do this to yourself. Occasionally, if you fall back into these habits, okay, the earth will not slip off its axis. But this should not be your primary dietary focus. Not at all, because this is depleting your body of not only nutrients, but it's killing off the bacteria in the microflora because, let's face it, you're overworking. Pre protocol introduces 4.4 billion pounds of healthy bacteria colony and you send the natural flow to the digestive system. Oh, wait. There's more. Pre protocol also introduces a healthy bone of prebiotics. Now, what are prebiotics? Well, prebiotics are actually food or fuel to the bacteria, which are probiotics. Why it does that is to make sure that as the bacteria gets there, it, it doesn't starve itself out, out before it establishes a colony. It's given the appropriate nourishment to flourish right away. But wait, there's even more. Let's see the flood boat commercial. There is an enzyme that is included. It's a, it's a, oh, I'm afraid to call it an enterpathic catalytic enzyme. Uh, it's much, much more than that. From Gearland Laboratories, they developed an enzyme called DE111. What this enzyme does, where there's advantageous colonies of bacteria, it's capable of latching to these extra bacterial colonies, destroying them, eviscerating them, breaking them up into small pieces, and then converting them to coenzyme co catalytic reactions to fuel for the rest of the colony. Isn't that cool? It actually breaks down the proteins of these bacteria, because that's what they are, right? And they break them up into smaller amino acid particles, and they add as a fuel base or a prebiotic base for the rest of the column. Pre-pro defense is the most comprehensive approach to addressing the imbalance of flora by restoring the body with healthy bacterial colonies, providing prebiotic nourishment to the uh, floral colony, and using the specific D111 catalyst to destroy offending bacteria, converting them into fragments and adding nutrition to the flora of the colony. That's about the best you can possibly hope for. That does so much more than just like eating yogurt. And most people don't understand if you don't read the label when you get yogurt, if it doesn't have live colonies, all you're taking is, is a sweet milk product. You're not restoring bacteria. You have any questions? Well, if you do, Dr. Stan at SanoGlobalNutrition.com, I would be so delighted to answer them for you. Thanks for listening. We have more lessons coming. See you soon. Bye-bye.